Hello, this is Rob from Rims Models. Um, this is my update to of the Mini Art British Lorry 3 ton B type. Uh, just before we start, a uh, big thank you to all my subscribers, all your kind comments as well. It's really kind. Uh, and I can't believe I'm nearly on 500 subscribers. I never ever dreamed I'd be on that many. So I'm absolutely over the moon. So I really appreciate you all commenting in and looking at my videos. But anyway, let's take a look where we got to from the last update. I'll turn this on so you can look. I've had a change of plan. I was going to do the yellow one, the coal truck one. But I changed my mind. I've gone for the red one. I just, I like it. Not, it's nice. It's somewhat different. So, um, but basically the bed of the truck's not painted yet, I've got to paint that red yet and um, the cab's painted, but that's, it's loose, the cab's all loose uh, so that, that's loose and the back's loose, the wheels are loose but everything else is fitted um, up till now, as I said, the fit's, the fit's been excellent there's been no trouble at all uh, plenty of parts, really detailed engine as well and the good thing is you can have it displayed open so you can see all the engine and everything uh, there's no weathering done, the only weathering I've done is chipping is the chipping, that's all I've done these grey parts here haven't been painted yet they're all, they've are all got to be painted, so the, so's the handle on the front the wheels, because I've changed it now, they're not black they're not black now, they're, uh, they're going to be white white with a red, with red in the middle, so I've got to redo them as I said, up till now, no problems at all with the fit. Let's stop this and we can have a proper look. But what I've done, all the all the wood. Let's see if I can gently take this off. <clears throat> like that. All the wood effects. I've done this. There, look. Ready, ready for chipping. And all it is is I'll spray that first there XF to me XX55 deck tan I sprayed that first and then I dry brushed that over the top there XF64 and then what I've done then when it, I sprayed that there on the top and then the red I'm using is this there? It's just normal flat red XF7. It's all to me paints, everything I've used. So that's basically what I've done. I haven't gone to, to what's an angle with the wood effects because it's going to get covered in red anyway. But um, I just wanted a different when I chip it, I just want different vari like cut the colours variation. So it's not all the same colour with the chips. Yeah, so I think it looks good. And the um the wood effects really good. I'll take the cab off and show you as well. Basically that's what I've done there. So this this has got that two tone I've just showed you. The outside there and like the sides there is just the brown colour that XF64 I've just sprayed that and then done the chipping on the top put the red on the top and chipped it and the same there, that's that's the wood effect I don't know where you can see the different, there is different it's hard to see but there's like two different colour variations there just, just to make it look like wood well I've done nothing else to it, I've just sprayed the red chipped it um, I'm gonna I've got to put filters on it and weather it and that yet. So that's that. Well, like I said, the wheels I've got to change the colour on them. They might they might come off. As you can see, look, I've really heavily weathered that. That's wood there. That I've just done brown because that's that's not wood. The the bulkhead. Right, it's really detailed and you can see quite a lot of the engine. That's loose as well, I can take that off, see if that will help you see better 
the only thing so far as I said in the last update the only extra bit I've had to do is that is the wire in there on the engine the rest of it is straight out the box Let's see if I can turn it around as well there look not there as well I've done the exhaust that's all rusted these grey parts here have got to be painted I just think it was easy to paint them in position there's the underneath no weathering yet at all I'm only going to be a light weathering because these these are you want really edge in the field but they're more on like the streets and that so I don't think there's going to be that much weathering there there's the front wheels they do turn as well if you want them turning as you can see but I'm, I'm, I should have just out glue them in position I ain't going to have them turning there I've got to paint the bits of photo etch on the pedals there's bits there's bits to glue on here yet on the bulkhead yet I've got a few bits they're all painted ready I've just got to glue them on uh, but yeah that's where we're up to apart from everything falling off it's probably it probably won't stop up but it's the construction's neat there's a lot of little parts to stick on right so this is the option I've gone for now let me just uh, lift it up to show you that one there look as you can see there so I've just got to change there's a couple of things I've had to change in the in the instructions like the headlights and that because I was, I was doing the other option I was originally doing that one there the box art one but I've changed my mind I've, I've gone for that one now I think it looks nice in red so but basically that's where I'm up to there that's what I'm up to no like I said there's been no problems with the fit it's all excellent fit uh, so if you're thinking again the kit just get it because it's really really detailed so thanks for looking and stay safe